and welcome to God TV Together. I'm Ian and this is my friend Fergus and we're here today to spend time in prayer and worship and ministry with you, our God TV friends and family at home. So welcome to God TV Together, Fergus, where we pray together, where we worship together, where we serve the Lord together here on God TV Together. You know, interesting, Ian, one of the things that has been so encouraging about what the Lord has had us do during this new season is in fact that we are, as a God TV family, we are doing this together, whether it be standing or running or praying or worshipping or giving or contributing or going. But one of the things we need to talk about is actually is watching together. Yeah. In fact, as a God TV family, there's some fantastic new programming. Russell is our head of programming and planning, and he's making a real difference for this coming season. Yeah, I mean, Fergus, I'm just so grateful for all the team and for everything that they do behind the scenes. And Russell is our head of content and he's been working really hard to find new materials that are not going to just comfort us, but are going to challenge us, Fergus, are going to challenge us around things like forgiveness. <laughs> in fact, we're going to take time today. In fact, it's one of those moments where if you need to have a quick call with one of our prayer teams, do call the number that you see on the screen or visit our website, god.tv forward slash prayer. We're going to be praying about the difficult area of forgiveness a little later on the program, including catching up with some wonderful ministry moments that will really encourage you. But Ian, as we watch together, one of the things we've got a new programmer, Chrissy Nelson, who for many years has been part of the digital team. She's wow. contributed to our Facebook Lives and she's launched a new program. She's quite a teacher, you know. Hallelujah. Yeah. You know, we're really looking forward to sharing some of Chrissy with you and some of what she's got to offer. She's doing, been doing exciting things online and Fergus, you said you were watching. Yeah, well, you know. Tell me about it. Well, one of the fun things about being part of the God TV team is you get you get little access to some of the programming that's coming up. And Chrissy was ministering on Philippians 4, 4 verses 4 through 8, where we rejoice in the Lord, be anxious for nothing, and then what we think of, and then the peace of God which passes Amen. all our understanding. You know, Chrissy is one of the new generation of ministers that we're able to have as part of the God TV team who will minister to each one of us at our point of need. Here's an example of Chrissy Nelson and her new program, Just Jesus. My friend, Jesus is with you every step of the way. How many know life can get chaotic? It can get busy, it can get hectic, and we need like a moment where we can just sit and pause with Him and go, Jesus, help. <laughs> he wants to overwhelm your overwhelm with His peace. Jesus really is the answer. It's been Him all along. That's Just Jesus with Chrissy Nelson each Wednesday evening on God TV and also on the God TV app and on the God TV video on demand. Well, Ian mentioned it a little earlier. Ian, we want to talk about forgiveness. Right. You know, I'll be honest with you. Do the Bible want to talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> this program could go on a while. Um, Jesus says in Mark 11 that when we speak to that mountain and command it to be cast into the sea, it goes. And we all get excited and our prayers of faith work. He says, but, 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 but when you stand praying, forgive. Because if you don't forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive you. Mm. And I wonder when those the bad stuff happens. I think somehow when, when we're believers, we think that it all works out. It's like the, the Disney version of scripture, unfortunately. But you do get punched in the gut every now and then. And what do you do with it? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's an interesting question, isn't it? I mean, I think it's the other way around. I think when you're not a believer, you think that every, when you're a Christian, everything <laughs> turns all right. It's when you are a believer and you're walking with God. And you know, it's, it's relying on uh, God's strength yeah. and it's easier said than done. Amen. And, you know, forgiveness isn't um, a binary problem. Of, That's it. Uh, I didn't forgive you and now I do. And I know for all of you at home, you know, I've got friends that have uh, got really terrible situations where uh, their bro brother was murdered or yeah. something. Yeah. You know? uh, and there's questions of uh, big forgiveness. Yeah. yeah. Um, but also there's questions of that everyday forgiveness, Amen. you know, with your wife or your husband yep. uh, or your children, you know, perhaps they let you down and they don't, you know, deliver exactly what you want. And it's like, how do we as Christians um, 
represent God and Jesus Amen. well in showing that yeah we we can forgive not just in the big things and the little things and it's um, it's an act of repentance as well you Amen. know unforgiveness is a sin unforgiveness is a sin the cry with Betty King is such an encouragement here is an example of how we get to forgive from Betty's program with Pastor Ben and I watch this and Ian I'll be back to discuss it again One of the biggest things for me is unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. um, it's especially within, you know, the church. You can even look at the marketplace as well, but especially within the church, you know, looking back at your life and seeing the people that might have hurt you or the people that you might have hurt. You know, the Bible says, cast your burdens for he cares for you. That means I have to give him all my issues, give him all my troubles and learn to forgive. And one of the, the beautiful things as well is that the Bible also says that carry your cross, mm -hmm. which means that you will get hurt. But if you trust him, he's going to be there for you. And when you learn how to forgive somebody, you're able to actually just push through mm -hmm. because unforgiveness also stops you from moving forward. Mm -hmm. It doesn't allow you to bring the fullness of Christ in your life. You're not even able to tell the truth mm -hmm. because you've created all these things exactly. around you that have caused like barriers, mm -hmm. which are not able to be broken. Mm -hmm. But God really wants us to push through these barriers, you know, for him to be into our lives, to be welcomed into our lives, for him to take the fullness. You can't really receive love if you don't know how to forgive. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, he died on the cross for our sins. He didn't have to do it. Um, it reminds me of the scripture, Mark 14, when Jesus went into um, the Garden of Gethsemane and the agony, the pain that he was going through, saying to Christ, like, saying to God, like, I can't do this. These people are not deserving. Mm -hmm. And imagine, you know. That's probably what I would say. Oh, yeah. You know, well, what is this? Is it worth it? You know, <laughs> just like, I don't know what dialogue Jesus was having about. I mean, how could he even let me go through this, Jesus? I thought you loved me. me. You know, <laughs> we all say that. <laughs> no, but it's crazy. And I, can, I can't imagine what he was going through. Then for him to come back and, you know, he's already, you know, told the 12 to wait. Then he's got the three there sleeping. Mm -hmm. And he's saying to Peter, Peter, like, you couldn't at least just wait up an hour to pray for me you know your friend but he knew that there was something that he had to do in order for us to break through mm -hmm. and and you know Gethsemane reminds me of the olives mm -hmm. you know we have two types of people the people that eat the olives mm -hmm. they're the fast track ones <laughs> and then the ones that press the mm -hmm. olives and with the olives you're given options like anointing oil mm -hmm. you can use the oil to do so much but when you learn to forgive, mm -hmm. God gives you the capability to press and crush the olive, to bring um, anointing oil. And I really believe that Jesus did that for us, you know, so definitely. Your generation, what are some of the things that you guys have put in place in your heart to be able to carry the oil? For me, uh, one of the things, it's, uh, it's actually switching some stuff off. Mm -hmm. um, removing some of the inputs. Mm -hmm. uh, I just find it- That word. Yeah, I find that actually really, really helpful because in, I think Galatians, I think it's Galatians 5, Paul says, uh, remain in step with the Holy Spirit. With, that's the, anoint, the idea of the anointing and, and uh, which uh, gives me the kind of, it, it brings to mind an image of almost like military uh, uh, soldiers keeping in step as they march with the Holy Spirit leading them. Uh, step by step by step is a specific way of learning to march and and um, and I just find that like there's certain inputs which will really quickly help me to get out of step which isn't helpful you know as, as we were talking about unforgiveness perhaps it's like you know that might be friends on social media who are operating from a place of bitterness Well, that's a lovely little teaser from our friend Betty King on her program, which is on every Wednesday called The Cry. So if you want to watch more of Betty and all her friends, then you can catch it here on God TV every Wednesday. Fergus, you know, forgiveness is a, a big subject and we touched on it before we went to uh, a VT was that, uh, you know, for unforgiveness is a sin. And yet um, a lot of people talk about it as a feeling that you can't move, you know, can you speak to your experience of forgiveness, you know, and how you deal with it? 
What, what to me the issue is, is the fact that we are forgiven. Amen. You know, Jesus went to the cross, died uh, an unspeakably horrible death, whipped, crown of thorns, shamed in a public space for us, not for him. He was totally cool with the Father, yet he came as the Lamb of God to literally take away, to pull away the sins of the world. So when we've been wronged, by the way, we always forget when we do the wronging, if I can put it that way, but when we've been wronged and we feel that indignation and, and that justice has not happened and perhaps may never happen in the natural, when we choose to walk the Jesus way, when we choose to say, Father, we have been forgiven and, and you forgave it all, then my little what Tommy, Jenny, Susie, Fred did to me even though, yes, it hurt, even though, yes, it's wrong, even though I probably don't want to have dinner with them tomorrow night, you have asked me to do the same thing that Jesus did for me. Unjust, uh, 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 could never figure it out, could never pay it back, yet you've said you do that to others because you've already experienced it to me. And when you put it in that light, when you really turn around and you say, you know, he did the incredible for me, then m maybe I should do just a little bit for them too. Mm, mm. And if I can encourage you, all the God TV family at home, you know, uh, unforgiveness is something that sits with us. You know, it's, it doesn't hurt the other person. You know, it's, it's not like... Um, was, it that, was, it, was it when you forgive, you let yourself out of jail? <laughs> right, right. You, you know, and the, our encouragement today is that uh, Jesus died for you on the cross to forgive you of your sins. So who are we to judge others? And can we find that peace with Jesus that allows us to forgive other people that have wronged us today? Hey, Fergus, let's have a quick prayer for it. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, so many of us, as Ian said, so many of us struggle in this issue. So many of us want to get even when in fact you want to get us blessed and whole and free. Father, please help us. Father, please, please help us get out of this jail, get out of this stuckness to let them go, Father, as you let us go from the things we could never pay, for the things that we could never see restored, for the things that we could never make right again. Father, we entrust the problem, we entrust the person, we entrust the situation into your care and ask that you would give us peace, Father, a peace that passes what we understand. But Father, please let our hearts be free again. Let us gaze on Jesus and let us acknowledge out loud with our mouths, Father, expressing gratitude to you how much you have forgiven us. So whatever they've done, Father, we release that into your care. Vengeance is mine, Father. You say you, you, you'll sort it out. You will repay so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we, we, we present the ugliness of this moment. And, Father, please take the ugliness away. In Jesus' precious, precious name. Amen. 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 You know, and if we're not released from forgiveness, you know, uh, here on God TV is a place where you, as a God TV family, can find lots of content and people Amen. teaching and speaking about this very subject about forgiveness you know so it might be something that we don't feel today but we need to go and learn about we need to learn what jesus says about we, forgiveness we we did a piece of filming the other day with a young lady who was a participant in her majesty the queen's funeral wow. and i wanted to talk to her about this incredible moment but listen to this moment from shamira fletcher she works with churches together here in the uk this is an extraordinary testimony of misunderstanding and forgiveness and deliverance and grace. So um, I had a breakdown in a family relationship and I was um, basically misled or my character was assassinated by, by this family member. And it absolutely broke me because I said, I haven't done anything. In fact, I love you. I like you. I'm, um, I'm right, I'm, I'm right. right. <laughs> you know, the indignation, how dare you, you know. And um, for five years, five years, five years, 
I carried that oh. seed of unforgiveness. It then turned to bitterness. Mm. And this is all whilst ministering, being at church. How good and pleasant being it is. Being an international television star. <laughs> oh, no, I, I'd, I'd forgiven by then. Maybe that's why I got released. Um, but, you know, and it just showed me you can go through life, you can be doing all the right things, but still have unforgiveness in your heart. Because somebody has wronged you. you. Yeah. It's different when you've wronged someone else and you're seeking forgiveness, yeah. but when you're in the right uh -huh. and you've been wronged, how do you get over that? So how did the Lord, how did the Lord release you and release them? I was at a funeral mm. and I was singing mm -hmm. and I heard tangibly a Rima word if you want. Mm. Um, when you finished ministering, everyone's blessed in this room. Mm -hmm. You need to go and forgive that person. And I was like, God, don't, don't mess with my emotions today, please. I, <laughs> I don't need any second gen anxiety. I just need to minister and, and be done with this. But I was really convicted. Everyone's blessed in this room, yeah. but you need to be blessed. Wow. And you need to forgive. And I went and spoke to that person. And there was so much misunderstanding because over the years, I've now created narratives that maybe didn't even exist. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you know, um, it was compounded. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we forgave each other, we, we moved on. And so much happened after that moment, the Queen being one of them, not to say that that was a reward. Understood, but, understood. Um, so much happened, I was free, I was liberated. So my encouragement to anybody listening across the world to you is try and look in your heart, be honest. Sometimes you have been hurt and you are right to, to have that feeling of grief. But as they say, forgiveness is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Bitterness kills. And I would encourage you, before it's too late, before that person dies or is buried, to have that conversation, communicate and forgive. Would you pray for our God TV family? Because you've, you've spoken a truth into all our lives. Mm. And we, none of us gets out of here without having been wronged. Yes. And if we're honest, none of us gets out of here without probably doing some wrong. Yes. And releasing, getting through the forgiveness, mm. understanding the other person, and then walking in that freedom. Truly dynamic things happen. I wonder if you would minister and pray for our viewers. God, I just pray for whoever is listening right now, that God, you'll meet them where they are that they will understand that they have been forgiven, that the ultimate act on the cross was a sign of your forgiveness to us. And I pray that that blessing will translate and transfer to any person that is struggling with unforgiveness and the root of bitterness. I pray for healing, I pray for understanding and I pray that they will give themselves grace because unforgiveness at times is a process and that people will walk in liberty and freedom because you are a liberating God. Amen. That's Shamara Fletcher from Churches Together here in England with a really, really important word. None of us get out of here without a few bruises and bumps. But as we take it to Jesus, as we let the Lord minister to each one of us in prayer, it will be blessed. Things get better. You don't have to stay in this place. And maybe, Ian, that's, that's the great encouragement. We don't have to stay in the place. Sometimes we get knocked down. Sometimes we're pushed down. Yet in Jesus, we can get up and it can be better again. Yeah, you know, and you know, the minute you talk about forgiveness, God is going to challenge you about not just forgiving other people for what they've done to you, but also forgiving yourself. Amen. I know a lot of people and a, and a lot of you at home will feel like, well, you know, I'm good at forgiving other people, but you know, what about this thing that I've done and this thing in the past? And, you know, forgiveness covers uh, somebody you've hurt, somebody who's hurt you, but also hurting yourself. Amen. and. Sometimes we, we need to be freed from that and we know that Jesus is the answer, but it's not something that you can do without him. It's something that you have to do with him. So my encouragement to all of you today is that you would find that special place with Jesus. You'd spend some time with him and you'd face into your unforgiveness with him today. And if you're a book reader, if you love to read, if you love to let the Lord minister to you with some good old books, 
one of our dearest, dearest friends here at God TV, Dr. R.T. Kendall. I think he really did write the book on this subject. He's written a couple of books on forgiveness that really will bless and encourage you in your walk with the Lord. Now then, we're going to have a quick short break, but we're going to come back and we're going to finish out the program. We have more encouragement to go in this part of God TV together. Have you ever seen a kid's relay race? One where they fill up cups of water and run towards the finish line without trying to spill any of it. It can be quite hilarious to watch. Sometimes I actually feel like a vessel of the Holy Spirit spilling out His anointing, His presence, His power to impact the lives around me rather clumsily at times. I'm also very aware that running right alongside me in this race called life is a great cloud of witnesses and God TV viewers like you who help us to run our race and finish it well. Friends, I want to encourage you today. Perhaps you've been watching God TV for a very long time. You may not be aware that we are a viewer-funded channel. What does that mean, you might say? Well, we don't sell advertising like commercial channels. We don't run businesses on the side to generate income. Our vision is simple. It's Sir, Souls, Israel and Revival taking the gospel to the world to as many platforms as we can. But critically, we can't run this race alone. We need viewers like you to get engaged and to run together with us. And it's so easy to do. We have teams of people all around the world ready to take your call to pray with you and get you signed up for this race of a lifetime. Welcome back to God TV together. Now, just as we pray and worship and encourage one another, we also encourage everyone to give Amen. together. And here at God TV, we are a viewer funded ministry. So it's you, our friends and family at home that enable us to do what we do, to be here every day, to bring a bit of Jesus and shine a bit of light into your life each and every day. And if you are willing and you're able, we'd love that you could stand with us with a one-time gift or with a regular gift. And if you are able to help us today, we say thank you. So call the number on your screen or go online at god.tv. So God TV family, wherever you are around the world, we stand together, we run together, we pray together, but we are generous together. So please, as we go, we've got a wonderful word of encouragement from Nia Sharice, who talks about our understanding of legacy and inheritance. It's not just what we get, it's, but it's the inf difference that we make each and every day. Thank you for the difference that you make here at God TV. Hello everybody, it is Prophet Nia Cerise here and today I really want to speak to you about legacy. I think this has been really deeply on my heart because oftentimes people don't even know what that is. There's a difference between legacy and inheritance. You see an inheritance is what is given over to somebody. It's usually tangible, physical, materialistic and it's given over and passed down. Legacy, on the other hand, is far greater. Legacy is about what you will leave within a person. You see, there are lasting legacies that we've seen from generation to generation. We even see this example with the Trinity. God sent his only begotten Son. And God the Son sent the Holy Spirit, a lasting legacy that would fill the hearts of mankind and cause us 2,000 years later to continue to preach the gospel, teach the word of God and run with Holy Ghost fire. My question to you today is what does legacy actually mean for you? What are you leaving behind in the hearts of an individual? Legacy isn't temporary, my friends. Legacy isn't something that's just short term. Legacy endures. And so my challenge to you is to ask yourself, as a born again believer, maybe you're listening to this right now, what legacy are you leaving? I believe in a God who believes in lineage. He believes in family. He, be he believes in generation after generation experiencing his blessing. And our God endures. 
And I know that in 2023 especially, God is going to be raising up individuals who will be more focused on leaving a legacy than an inheritance. Yes, you may leave a ministry behind, but what about the impact in the hearts of men? God is looking for us to actually release his spirit in such a way that people are eternally impacted by the kingdom. That is real legacy. Proverbs 22 explains that when you train up a child in the ways of the Lord, he will grow older and in that old age will not depart from the faith. Legacy isn't just about building earthly products. It's about building eternal heart postures, atmospheres, memories. And I'm so grateful to God because that's what I want to do. I want to be remembered not by what I physically gave, but the eternal offering that I placed into the hearts of men and women. God bless you and goodbye. Leaving a legacy that impacts the eternal hearts of men. What an extraordinary encouragement of all of us here at God TV, all the God TV family around the world. We have an opportunity through media, whether it be on air and digital and all the ways that we serve to make a difference that will literally have an eternal impact. Ian, you know, we've been involved at God TV for, for many, many years, and I've never, ever, ever lost that, just that, you and I call it the jazz, mm. about the fact that we get to make a difference in media. Yeah, I mean, media really just accelerates what, you know, pastors and ministers are doing every Sunday. And, you know, it's our privilege to partner with you, the God TV family, and all the ministries that you see on God TV to preach the good news of Jesus Christ around the world 24 seven, to places and to people that we will never meet. And you know, in the last five years, six years, Fergus, I've met people who have said, oh, I gave my life to Christ with God TV in India 20 years ago, and then bumped into them in a taxi in Scotland. That's, right? that's exactly right, yeah. And so when you realize the impact that we're all having, you know, it's something that we, are just proud to be a part of Fergus and I. And actually it's because of all of you and all your hard work and all your prayers and all your giving. So Fergus and I, we say thank you so much from the bottom of our heart. It really is our privilege here at God TV and on God TV together to encourage you each and every day. So from Fergus, myself and all the team here at God TV, we say thank you, goodbye and see you tomorrow.